Hello everybody and welcome back to King Tip Games. We're playing some Madden 16 today, the Cleveland Browns. You missed the opening kickoff, nothing spectacular happened. Having some issues with my earlier stream. But let's go ahead and see if I can get this started here. One second here. They need to get the playoff. The offense stops the clock right away with a timeout. That was my fault. It would be running a lot smoother. The Ravens lined up in the nickel. First down at the 24. Johnson Come on, block. Down at the 26. Second and eight. Screen. He's got the catch. He's tackled the beautiful job. It's a first down. The Browns decked out in a lot of pink. And we see pink throughout the building. It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month in the NFL. Gets it out for the completion. Hills oh. got the tackle. Aren't a nice thing to have when the window of opportunity is very small. Quarterbacks with strong arms can still fire it in there. Nice throw right on target by the QB. After the catch, it's now second down and one. Take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Early in this game, Phil, and already on the other side of the midfield strike. So frustrating. Nice I'm lagging. I do not know here. why. Good play calling, too, Jim. Mixing up the plays. The defense is off guard right now, and the offense is taking advantage of it. Let's go. First down at the 44. That old game, just a few yards. Hopefully, they don't lag a whole lot. I'm now lagging again. Let's look at the Browns offense. This offense is very good at moving the football and right up near the top when it comes to yards per game. Second down and seven. The Browns get a first down. Well, when you're playing this cover three defense where three defenders are playing deep, that's great. You stop the deep passes, but who's going to stop the quick ones? Well, nobody. That's why the quarterback and the receiver says Tony Slam. What a catch. Nice throw by the quarterback that time. Put it right on the money. Not a big window. It doesn't matter to him today. Great control of the football. Put it right in there for the touchdown. Now they come out for the point after. Of course, this year, rule the PAT is snapped from the 15 yard line, making the point after 13 yards longer than the pass, a 33 yard point after attempt. The Browns setting up for the kickoff. I'm not doing a lot of commentary. Let's get going. I'm just so frustrated with lagging. Let's, let's give it a shot. A player to watch today. Having thrown an interception last week, he'll attempt to have a turnover-free game today. 
Joe Flacco can throw that ball. What else do you need to know? If you're open, he can get it to you no matter where you are on the field. First down at the 28. Brown makes the grab. Brown's taken down at the 33. Brown's one of the best receivers in the NFL. He can run all the routes. How about this out route that time? Does it with such grace and ease. And that's just the first down. The Ravens this time will go with two. And four. Out to Smith. That's the first down. It's going to be one of these games. Well, the quarterback has such great confidence in the receiver. And why not? He's talented. And every time the football's thrown his way, he finds a way to make the catch. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Going to be a tackle for a loss. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. The Ravens will take the snap from the 40. Draw. You are not running on me. Give it up. Here's a look at the Ravens offense. With the offensive. This is an offense that has one of the most dangerous passing attacks in the NFL this season. Following that timeout, defense back out on the field. The Ravens want to convert special for last week's performance in third down situation. Two tight ends on here. Third and a long go. Two on the football the catch. Ah. in a terrible situation third and long but you know what they got a lot of talent on the offensive side and that was an awesome job of picking up that first down this play set up by the long gainer away from the ball there's a flag down on the field Penalty is, of course, going to be accepted by the defense. First and 20. Locked in on the football and has hold of it with two hands. Can we seriously do anything to stop them? This is ridiculous. Pass. Very little space to throw the football into. But he gets it done. A lot of velocity right on target. Advancing it now inside the 40. Joe Flacco will take it right from the center. Second and nine. And off out of the eye. Browns defense they are one of the best in the NFL when it comes to total defense the defense looking for one more stop here on third down after that run Flacco standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap thrown thank you he was they open it should have been a first down sluggishly and this defense has taken full advantage Phil yeah, the offense having a tough time. They did not have a good series that time. And the defense, you're right, took advantage of a sluggish offense and got off the field. The kick, and it's through there. The kick is good. Almost an entire quarter in the box. They at least have a field goal. Wow. Jim, it's kind of like a round of golf about that sometimes you don't birdie or par the first holes but it's a long contest it's a long game and i think they with that field down 22 returns good 19 
The Browns offense taking the field again. They got everything they could out of that last possession, Phil. That was a solid touchdown drive. Yeah, just look at them, Jim. The way they've run on the field, you can see they're exuding confidence. When you got a confident football team, man, let them go and let them play and see if they can make it happen again. Nothing like a running back who fights for every extra yard. When you get that extra yard or two, what it does, it just creates better situations for your offense. That'll be second and four after the running play. For this play, go. they'll go with two tight ends. To the ground. The tackle's made, and the first down is picked up. Johnson's a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. What well, a first quarter. The first quarter comes to a close, and we're seeing a low-scoring defensive battle. We'll be back after this. They come to the line, and it's first down. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Johnson's marked down at the 34. The Browns lead here in the first half, but the run game has been stagnant. Johnson's been unable to shake free at any point. No, he has not been able to shake free. And listen, sometimes you just can't worry about it. you got to do whatever it takes to win. If you can't run it, then just keep throwing the football. with a nickel look here on defense the Browns need to get to the 43 to pick up a first Mosley with the sack well that time the quarterback is sacked on the third down and that's of course that's bad but the good thing is he did not try to force the football down the field and get the turnover Some points on their previous, but it was just a. We'll be looking to add right here. And you know, listen. You talk about touchdown drives. You have to kick a field goal. What does that mean? That means you failed on third down. Just not a good play on third down. They got to do better in that situation. If they do, that's going to lead to seven points. Got to give the defense some credit on first. Do that play, and they stop. Loss of three on the. Coming up, second down. Handoff made. He's tight at the 31. Good job of the defensive hand in there, and, and they hold the running back to a short game. Now, looking at third down. Flacco from the shotgun. Man intercepted. Yes. Phil, this has come up with the interception, and now the offense would like to do its part here before the half. Absolutely. The offense take advantage of this situation. About the defense, my gosh, they got some good players, and that was an awesome interception they just made. The Ravens' defense got tested on that last drive, but eventually it led to a punt. Yeah, it was an awesome job by the defense. They really did a lot of things correct. They hustled. They played hard. That is the cornerstone to any good defense. But it falls incomplete. Quarterback has a strong arm, but I am starting to question his touch. Need a little more touch on those deep passes. That time he overthrows the receiver. Failing to complete that one. So, second down here. The Ravens will come out in the dime. Hand off. Trying to fight through right up the middle of the field. Johnson's never built up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. The Browns now on third down. Just a week ago, they at a high rate in third down situations. Third down, eight. John has got it on the handle. Trying to catch the defense by surprise here on third. Go with the run. And some 
sometimes those runs on third and long work and you can pick up a first down. But that time the defense is ready. They tried it and it didn't work. Oh, I think enough angle. And a touchback here. We'll bring the ball out to the 20. Smith's ready to start this next possession. They're staring at a deficit, and he's not had a first half to remember up to this point. Not going to blame it all on him. There's a lot of people to blame on the offensive side. And I'm going to start with the coaches. You just got to have a better plan on how to get your star wide receiver open. They haven't done that. He's really had no chance to get it done. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Loss of three on the play. You're not running on me. It's a two tight end formation. Second and 13. They'll run it here. Nowhere to go as this will be a loss of three. Well, that time the offensive line just got overpowered. They allowed penetration. When you do that, nowhere for the running back to go. What a good job by the defensive line. This is third down. Formation. Defense. Hit the two in the first half. All right, so now as we go the field we've got a good game going and an offense has closed the gap before halftime Evans gets set at the line needing to get to the 30 for a first third and long he's brought down up fourth timeout called by the unit and they'll call on Hester's going to turn and it's Ooh. Webb. And back of about the gearing up for their next drive now as defense has become the order of the day here. Trading punts on the previous sessions. Yeah, when you when you're playing in a game like this as a quarterback, you know the defenses are hot and the one you're playing against is tough. So you've got to be careful start in your decision. Don't take it oh. in a situation like this. Mark him down for another reception. Hard to guard these tight ends now in the NFL. It really puts the defense in like a quandary. Do we use a big guy? Well, the big guy's not fast enough. We use a small guy? Well, he's not big enough. They get pushed around. I don't know what you're going to do. Just make sure you're a good tackler after they catch him. Going deep. Makes the grab. The wide open. Touchdown figures to have them in a very comfortable spot heading into the halftime break. Ooh, they are feeling good. There's no doubt about that. It's been a, a show of good offense here so far in the first half. And now what you got to do, halftime comes, you got to go in there and tell yourself to keep this going and keep the pressure. 14 Cleveland Browns, man. I may have found this team. Carton certainly giving his team some momentum with that scoring drive. He just put together a possession where he threw for more than 60 yards. The Ravens return team is ready. Pick a pick a surge. Tackles made right at the 25 yard line. Blacko's not really performed any of his usual at this point. We'll see something on this drive as he trots back out there. Yeah, I think what's going to happen here, give him some keys that are easy so he can get some, get some confidence to carry over to making big plays to get up some scores and maybe find a way oh, to win come this game. On. A foot race to the end zone. The 20, the 10. All really? The way home really? All alone. Touchdown. 
as we near halftime that was a much needed touchdown that suddenly gets this team mentally and even on the scoreboard right back into this game Phil uh, changed everything Jim didn't it I mean it changed the fans the way they're looking at the game the coaches the players it's it's amazing one play and look what it did to this football game Hester will run this one out and he's tackled just past the 20 will mark it at the 22 yard line the Browns underway possession ended in a touchdown Phil let's see if they can do it again very well done love what I saw out there on the offense the last he mixed it up and they had a lot of confidence you can see coming the back team and try to duplicate what they Come the on. Accepts the penalty. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. They'll send it back to the quarterback out of the gun. Signal for the timeout, and that's the first one they've used. Johnson's lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Down on the field. What a catch. First down, offense readying for the snap. Here's the first snap after the big play. Oh, almost takes it away. Well, well the quarterback bad. can't get him open. He threw the right guy that time, but the coverage was so good by the defense, uh, nowhere to get the completion. The Ravens set at the line. Dime package. Second down and ten. Easy catch there. No one near him. And he's in for the touchdown. What a play. What a run. That's a wonderful catch by the receiver, getting his first touchdown of his rookie year and, and making that catch. That is the first to come for him. The Browns for the point after. I apologize for the quality of this video, guys. I really do. I have a feeling it's going to be bad. I'm going to go and see if I can change it here after this game. See if I can fix something. This is just unacceptable. Downloading at the same time. It's probably my fault. Smith's got a chance for a return. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. Smith's been way less of a factor in the passing game today than we're accustomed to. Maybe this is the drive that he gets things started. Yeah, you're right, Jim. I think everybody's hoping for that, that he'll pick up his play and just help everybody. Well, I thought it was going to be a play action fake really instead job. of the linebackers. He just hasn't been crisp running his routes, and when you're not crisp running One's your routes, out left. it's hard to get open. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. The Ravens come to the line, and they put their receivers in a bunch formation. Flacco will take it from the gun. Marvin Brown with the catch. That picks up 11. One second left. Do the little things right. When you do those right, you get big victories, and, and doing it right is what... What this offensive player did that time, had a chance to get out of bounds, stop the clock, give his offense more chances. Really good job by the offensive player. To go deep. They can't 
connect. We've reached the intermission. And that's halftime. 11 points. going to break down all the first half highlights as we send it to Orlando in a moment. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Thanks, Jim. I'm Larry Ridley for the EA Halftime Report. The Ravens have been solid in the second at this point. The Browns the two straight weeks in the past. And so it just has a big part of their do this here first half highlights late in the second Cardin's deep pass will pay off here and after the long pass he'll score Browns push their lead to 11 still late stages of the second for sets by himself here and after the short pass he'll score Ravens cut the deficit to four Still late stages of the second. Here are th on the field is caught. And it's going to end up going for a gain of 37. Brown later on the drive. Middle of the field, the be caught. Play drive goes. Brown's push to in. So that'll do it for us. We'll send you back down to the field where Jim Nance and Phil Sims are on the call. All right, Larry, thank you for all of those updates. And now the teams are coming back onto the field, and we're about to get the second half started. Setting up the return. It's wide open. Going to take it the distance. Seriously, he's in my tackle vision. When you get a kick return for a touchdown, a lot has to happen. One, it takes kick returner, but look at all the good blocks we saw down the field and the speed of the kick returner. Touchdown. He'll throw it over the middle. So put down a touchdown and a two-point conversion on that occasion. Yeah, good job by the offense. He executed the play perfectly, and they got it in the end zone, like you said, and got that two points. The Ravens getting ready to kick it off. Hester's going to run this one out. That was oh. a good kick return, and now the offense will try to take advantage. The Browns have had a great passing attack going today. Carden's been marching his team up and down the field. It's been tremendous design by the offensive coaches coming into this game today. They have given their quarterback and wide receivers chances to make plays, and boy, are they taking advantage of it. There is nothing like a good return when you talk about special teams. Good blocking, the speed of the returner gets down the field, and after that tackle, now they have good starting field position. First down at the 49. Block! Will somebody in. block? He's averaged about two yards a carry on the day. The Browns oh. lead right now, but you will see that not everything is going their way. Johnson's had a tough one, especially down the stretch. If they want to control the game, you have to think they're going to go back to him for some more touches and try to get it right. That's why right. keep giving him the football. Keep mixing the plays up. Don't get obvious in your play calls. If you do, the defense will have everything on their side. Third down, following the run. The Ravens' defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Cardin's running away from the pressure. Tackle's made, and that'll move the chains. That's a nice that. play that time by the offense, getting the first down. They're up here in the second half, and they're moving the football. That is a great feeling. The football sits at the 40. First and 10. Johnson is going to secure the handoff. Face mask. the face mask we see it I'm going to accept that week and here it happens again well a lot of times these defenders I'll give them a you know a little slack because they're running so fast they're trying to tackle some tremendous athletes in open space and sometimes accidentally you're going to grab the face mask 
The Browns really got it going now. They got confidence. They got momentum. They got a small lead here in the second half. And that first down, what does it do? It just gives the offensive coordinator confidence. And, of course, this quarterback, he is always ready to go. First and goal. Johnson's handed the football. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap. And they hold that run to a short game. Stepping up to the line at the six-yard line. False start, and that sets the offense back five yards. Yeah, yeah it, listen, seriously. Start, and it, and it can be the little thing, a little offense. flinch. And it, it doesn't look like much, but everybody in the game <laughs> With the penalty, it's now second down and 11. The Browns are at the line of scrimmage with a Let's pair go. of backs split behind the quarterback. Looking across the middle, Hester's brought down after picking up just a yard. One yard. Play number six coming up on this drive. They're going to the hurry up offense and they're back to the line quickly. The Ravens defense now is going to go nickel. They'll go ground. And he's going to be tackled and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Chip shot here. He converted the field goal try. Jim, they get the field goal at that time, and it keeps the momentum on their side. It's positive energy. It makes you feel good. Now we'll see if the defense can carry it on. All right, come on, guys. Three minutes left in the third quarter. And ten minutes total. the 20 and tackled at the 21. Once again, I just like to take this time to apologize for Close game right the quality now, of this partner, video. It's going to be rough. The matchup at running back and neither one of them has really been all that effective. No, Jim, they have not been. I'll say this to the running backs, to the coaches, to the offensive line, everybody. Stay patient, stay with the run game, and I think it will work. They bring in the extra tight end. First down at the 21. He will not get away. He's taken down for the sack. This might not be nice to say, but every once in a while it's kind of fun to watch the quarterback get sacked like that. Good job by the defensive end. Quarters formation here for the defense. Here's the handoff. Picks up about five. Third long situations. A lot of coordinators in this league will run a draw play on third long. Why? Because they're just looking for field position, pick up a few yards, and then by some miracle, if the running back's able to make guys miss, break some tackles, and pick up a first down, man, that's just gravy. From the gun, Flacco. For set with the reception. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. This team, one of the better tackling teams in the NFL, and they play the situation perfectly. They give up the short completion. They come up and make the tackle. Now we have a fourth down. Hester's going to try and return this punt. Brown's there that time for the tackle. That return's good for about 20. Hester's able to show off his talent on that punt return that time. What speed and quickness. That allows him to break through some of that coverage and picks up good yards. The Ravens' defense starts this series knowing the last time they were out here, they allowed a field goal. Yeah, it was not a good drive for them, and I know the coaches were upset. I was watching them on the sideline yelling at a few guys, so I expect a better effort this time out. That's his first reception today. The Browns have created chances for themselves in the passing attack today. Cardin's had a huge performance in this one. When you talk about creating opportunities, that's where you have to give credit to the coaching staff. They have helped the players. The play designs have been good, and the players are taking advantage of it. 
Bose Lee's able to read that play and make the hit. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Second down now. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. And it sucks there to meet him. Come oh on, guys. That's ridiculous. We'll switch sides and take a quick break as the third quarter comes to a close here in downtown Baltimore, Maryland. The Browns come to the line. The first down marker is at the 16th. He'll take the snap, the first here in the fourth quarter. This will be a field goal attempt from 45 yards out. And the kick is good for three. Yes. They add another three here at the start of the fourth quarter to make things a little more comfortable for them, Phil. Oh, I think they're feeling good. They like where they stand right now, and everything you do is try to milk that clock and speed the process up as the game goes on. Ready to swing his leg as aggressively as possible and send the football down to the end zone. No return Beautiful here job. as he takes a knee in the end zone. The here Ravens here offense coming back onto the field here. Nine points. Trying to we avoid next... a repeat of their last drive when they had the quick three and out. I'll tell you what, if they go three and out again, you know what's going to happen. Those defensive players are going to be looking at them as they come off the field. You're putting this back out there already. So it's important to get a drive, give your defense a little rest. First down at the 20. The catch is made by Justin Forsett. Tackle down at the 42-yard line. Well, when you're down a couple scores in the second half, you're just looking for some positives and trying to get some momentum on your side. So that first down by the offense, maybe that'll give them some confidence, and we'll see where they can go with it from here. Flacco's completion percentage, 70% on the day. Man, the quarterback, the coaches, his teammates, everybody loves to see a player give that type of effort. How about the receiver just going all out to make the catch? Doesn't quite get there, but the effort is outstanding. Second and ten. Flacco sends it to Brown on his way. The ten gonna take it home for the touchdown. Yeah, he almost had the pick too. Damn. With the two point That's game. An important touchdown for this resilient bunch that just never quits, never believes it's out of a game, Phil. That's what it takes, Jim. In situations like this, you just have to be tougher than your opponent. And that's what they showed there. Getting that touchdown. Now we are going to have a contest down here in the fourth quarter. And he'll start his return. And he's tackled right at about the 28-yard line. Handing the ball off hasn't been something that's worked for either one of these teams today, Phil. Well, what you have to show on the offensive side when you want to run the football, you got to show some determination. And the guys on the offensive side just get tougher and make it work. The Browns head to the line. Two straight weeks now. They played in a very close game. Scores 27 to 25. The Browns take it from the 28. Johnson's tackled down after a gain of five. Nice run that time. You run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. The Browns take it from the 33. Brooks is in on the tackle. The Browns have continued to try to find a rhythm on the ground. Johnson's finding it impossible to find any open space. Well, when something's not working, what do you do? You do something else. How about some short passes 
get the defense to back off so then maybe you can run the football better. Stiff arms to stay on his feet. It's a first down. Johnson's able to get it done that time. Why? Because he has the power and the will to make it happen. Third short, he just gets it done with sheer willpower. First down at the 42. On first down, it's back to the Dang it, I thought he was going to slip by him. Substance just not an outside rusher, dude. We see it right here. What a job showing that strength. Stays in position, and the run's coming outside. He stops it for no. Second down and ten. The give. That's a gain of six. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. To Reggie Wayne. Puts a hand. Oh, he made the catch. He caught it with one hand. <laughs> Wayne's got a pair of grippers. And, of course, by that I mean hands. They are big. They are strong. You need those to make that one-handed catch. Now first and ten. Johnson is going to take the handoff now. He's averaged about two yards a carry on the day. That was a predictable play call here in the fourth quarter. You got a, you got a little lead. And you're trying to run the football to run out the clock, but the defense is ready and stopped it for a short game. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. The clock's really become a factor here, and the defense knows it has to get off the field as soon as possible to give the team a chance. He gets into the end zone. He wanted that. He wanted run. that. Jim, when you have a good running attack, your running back has got to be able to break tackles. And that time, what did we see? Broken tackles by him. He's big and strong and fast, and that leads to the touchdown. The Browns for the point after. He made it. There we go. That should put it out of the reach. Neither team able to establish the upper hand for too long. We've had already three lead changes, and the score's 34 to 25. All right. I want to check that because for some reason I don't think that's true. All right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if I had to lead the entire game. Well, if you want to make it sound the exciting. Return team is ready. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. The Ravens bring their offense back onto the field. Touchdown drive the last time they had it as they attacked that secondary. They sure did. They threw the football well on that last drive. And now I would think as an offensive coordinator, they're thinking pass on the defensive side. Switch it up. I think you can catch them with some good runs here. Keep them in bounds. Two minutes. Two minutes remaining in the game. Second down on the way. Always try to save the timeout or timeouts when you can. And one way to do it is go to the hurry-up offense. Good job. Aiken has hold of it. 
That's his first reception today. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. First down at the 31. Should have had it, but the hit knocked it out. Gilmore is one yeah. of those guys. If he drops a pass or makes a mistake on the field, he doesn't make excuses. He knows no matter what the circumstances are, if you get your hands on the football as a receiver in the NFL, everybody expects you to make the catch. The Ravens snap it at the 31. Over the middle and incomplete that time. Well, when you get in a situation like this, Jim, and you get third and long, I'll tell you what catches a defense by surprise. Run a double move on the outside against the defensive back because everybody in the stands and the defensive players all think you're going to throw it short. Has it right on the sideline, inbounds. Good job by the defense. Staying in the right the spots. They give up the short pass. They make the tackle. And now we have fourth down coming up. The kick is good. They'll take the three, but they know there's not much time left. They're going to have to use some desperate measures here, like an onside kick, to really pull this one off, Phil. Yes, they are, Jim. And look, it's just bad coaching. I don't know why you kicked the field. Go, go for it. Try to get the seven points and just change the scenarios that we see here right now. Right, this quarterback 11. matchup has been a great one today as both have put on quite a show. Yeah, it's been a great matchup between the quarterbacks. And look, I think the league is loaded with really good quarterbacks. I'm tired of hearing people say, oh, the league doesn't have enough guys. Yeah, they do. There are a lot of good ones. Give them time and they'll show it to you. The Browns will take the snap from the 45. And Doomerville's there ends the run on the outside. In a minute, six seconds to go. Double tight end formation. Second and ten. Johnson's tackled down at the 38. The Ravens stop the clock in a hurry, trying to hold on to every precious second. That last play was a run. Third down coming up. Let's go. Hey. Johnson's taking the handoff. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. The Ravens will stop the clock here with this timeout, needing to preserve time. After that timeout by the defense, play is ready to resume. Going for it on fourth down. Back at the line. They're going for it on fourth. Now makes the move to the right. Got it. Brought down by Mosley. That's the game. That, that was is a good the call game. By the offensive coach that time. They needed one first down to win this game to seal things up. He makes the right call and they get a big first down. The Browns are coming off a very competitive game last time out, game in which they won, and today they're right back at it in another close one. Look, the players and coaches know that all these games are going to be tough, and when you get in these tough situations, you just can't flinch. you got to make the right call as a coach, and the players just got to make the play. Takes the knee. The one interception helped out. Feel the deal. What a game, my friends. What a game. We're going to go to two and three.
There is it every is. win sweet or are the close ones that much more satisfying than just blowing someone out for 60 minutes? Well, the close ones are more satisfying because the tension is there longer. And the longer you're under tension, when it finally uh, comes to fruition and you win, it just makes it that much more exciting, Jim. So for Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now. All right. That's going to do it for me tonight. I thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, hit that like button. Pow! Follow me here on Twitch. Subscribe to me on YouTube. Comment down below if you want to see more Madden. And one of the games you'd like to see, I'll definitely work to make it happen for you. I really hope you guys enjoyed yourself. I know I did. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys soon.